the kind of American Nadine Dorries or, or the American Andrea Jenkins, a politician called Marjorie Taylor Greene, once issued among the most extraordinary and quite possibly anti-Semitic interventions I've ever witnessed from a modern-day politician. She claimed that wildfires... Do you remember when there was a, a big problem with wildfires in parts of America in about 2021? She claimed, with, with a straight face on a Facebook post, that one of the wildfires had been caused by the Rothschild family, who are often uh, the target of anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, using a space laser. So it is why the phrase Jewish space lasers entered into popular parlance, because Marjorie Taylor Greene, the sort of American Nadine Dorries, or actually, no, the American Andrea Jenkins, if you prefer, because Jenkins is still in Parliament, isn't she? And poor old Nadine isn't, neither the Commons nor, of course, the Lords. But the, so Jewish space lasers entered into public parlance because she claimed that a California wildfire had been started by a laser, a space laser, controlled by an executive at a bank owned by the Rothschild family. I... I, 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 ooh, I, I what do you... Because I, I find it hard to do these. I can't have conversations about American politics, really, in the traditional sense, because you can't, you shouldn't be having conversations about people like her and then saying, and on the other hand, here's a Democrat <clears throat> who doesn't believe that an executive at a bank owned by a Jewish family, often at the centre of anti-Semitic tropes, was responsible for starting a wildfire in California by using a space laser. Do you, do you see what I mean about how broken everything is? So I've always struggled. Not that I get the chance to interview people like this very often, but I've always struggled with knowing what to do. How hard do you go in? Someone has a track record of being absolutely bonkers. Do you hit them over the head with it at the beginning of the interview? Or do you pretend that they're respectable politicians and hit them over a the head with it at the end. What what do you do? Um, do you invite them onto your Sunday morning programme on the BBC and uh, treat them like royalty, even though they've said hideous things in the past that you have no intention of reminding them of at any point whatsoever during the interview? There are so many options, aren't there? There are so many different paths that you can do go down in these situations. But I, I, can, I can safely say that few people handle that problem better than Emily Maitlis does in the clip that you're about to hear. Have we? I just need to check something with Keith. Just talk among yourselves for a moment. Go and have a look at Jeremy Hunt being a robot on the telly. Have we definitely bleeped it? And have we bleeped it properly? Because we did have that problem once. Problem? We did once have a problem with a bleep that didn't actually... I mean, it was obvious what word it... Has it bleep bleeped? So if it was a pen, would it have gone over all the letters? Or it... Oh, so this could... Well, let's suck it and see. Thank you so much, the news agents in from London. What do you think the message should be to Nikki Haley tonight? Well, um, we've been encouraging her to drop out and support President Trump. And I think tonight is, is the clear message that, that President Trump is the clear front runner. He's the winner in our Republican primary. And it's time for Nikki Haley to drop out and support him. Do you think President Trump, Mr. Trump, is closer to picking his VP? And should you be on that list? Oh, you know, that's the question everyone asks. And no, I don't think Nikki Haley should be on the list. Uh, but of course, President Trump will choose who he wants for VP. Would you like to be on that list? He's got a long list. I support President Trump in any way, any way he'd ask me. Um, but I can assure you it won't be Nikki Haley. And can you tell me why so many people that support Donald Trump love conspiracy theories, including yourself? He seems to attract lots of conspiracy theorists. Well, let me tell you, you're a conspiracy theorist, and the left and the media spreads more conspiracy theories. We like the truth. We like supporting our Constitution, our freedoms, and America first. So. What about Jewish no, space dead. lasers? No, tell us about Jewish space no, lasers. No, why don't, you, why don't you go talk about Jewish space lasers? And really, why don't you fuck off? How about that? I'm Thanks. Thank world. you very much. <laughs> That's a bit I love most about that. It's a bit of... Thanks. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, it's not fun. Well, it is funny. It's, fun, it's, it's funny, but it's not funny, right? It's, it, the bleeping was great. Yeah, I like the bleeping. Um, it's funny, but it's not funny. It's, I, do you know what that do? That, that clip made me sniggle, uh, as Nigel Boone in Belfast has just, uh, has just shared. Ten minutes after 11 is the time.